So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the bagging method. The bagging method is not actually a new method in the community. Actually, it has been used for some time now and it has just been forgotten, but it's actually a good way to moisturize your ends. So if you're struggling with dry ends or you find it difficult to put moisture and retain moisture in your ends, you might want to try the bagging method one or two times a week in order to see how that is going to work for you. So we're just going to jump right into the video and do the bagging method. Hello, my name is Ruth and you're welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please click on the subscribe button and join my family. So the first thing we're going to do for the baggy method for me, I'm actually just going to take down my bonnet because I actually wanted to go to bed, but I was like, why not try the bagging method right so this is my hair i already protected my ends just to go to bed i always protect my ends by the way i protect my ends before i wear my bonnet right so for the bagging method you're going to be needing some source of moisture for me i'm going to be using some water in my spray bottle and my leave-in conditioner then i'm going to be sealing that up with my cream this is actually a homemade cream and i wouldn't mind sharing my recipe with y'all if you're interested in finding out how I make my sealing cream then let me know down in the comment section I'll be very happy to share by the way so talking about the bagging method I'm just going to take down these uh, these rubber bands on my hair because I always use it to stretch my ends at night and it also helps me prevent my ends from tangling a lot over the night especially when my hair is a bit wet so my hair is not super dry, I already moisturized my hair and as I said, I'm going to be uploading a video on showing you guys how to moisturize and retain moisture. I'm actually working on that video already. So if that's a video you're waiting for, please just subscribe and click on the notification bell. Yeah. So I got my ends. Here are they. Very... <laughs> the first thing, I'm with, I don't know why I'm laughing Oh, The first thing I'm going to be using is my water and my spray bottle. I'm just going to spray a bit of water on my ends a bit of water on my ends then i'm going to use and jackie's living conditioner it's one of my favorite living conditioners so i'm just going to use it for my ends as well i'm putting a bit just a bit of that i'm using a bit mainly because my hair is not so dry so if your hair is actually very dry then you might want to use more than this quantity or put more water but my hair is not that dry if you're suffering with dry ends the bagging method will actually help you it actually helped me a lot in the past when i didn't actually know how to moisturize my hair and i was suffering with super dry ends and was breaking off each time i tried to do anything with my hair so if that's the case with you then this method is very very helpful if you try it a couple of times each week okay so here is my leave-in conditioner I'm just putting it working that in again so for this video I'll mainly be focusing on my ends only for the bagging method you can actually cover your entire head but for me, I'm just going to do the bagging method on my ends. As you've seen, I've already applied the leave-in conditioner. Working that leave-in conditioner in, make sure that it coats almost every strand. And then you want to use your cream. So this is actually my DIY sealing cream. I'll be happy to show you guys my recipe for this cream. It actually helps me seal in the moisture each time I'm moisturizing my hair. So I'm using this much for my hair. You can see it's a cream. It's not really, it's not, it doesn't just become super clear on the hand like shea moisture and butter creams that you see. It, it still has this creamy feel because it's really moisturizing. So I'm using this cream to seal in the moisture that I just put in my hair. As you can see, I'm walking it through, trying to really coat every single strand of hair with these. If you can see, walking it in. Shrinkage is real, y'all. 
But anyway, shrinkage is a good thing. It's a sign that your hair is healthy, right? So yeah. I'm just going to section this into two pieces after working that in and I'm going to twisting it, twisting, twisting, twisting. So there we go, I've twisted it all together and I'm just going to um, wrap it and then wear my bag. I'm just going to wrap it like so. So with that, I'm just going to take this plastic bag right here. It's just a regular plastic. If you have something else, you can use it, but I'm just going to use this. Okay. And there comes the name bagging, okay? Because you're putting your ends into a bag. <laughs> Yay! You're putting your ends into a bag. So I'm just going to take an extra so a headband and then putting it over that plastic just to just to secure it. Just to secure it a little more. Like so. Very simple and easy to do. And there you go, your hair is moisturized and ready to sit throughout the night. I'm just gonna throw up my satin scarf like so. And I'm going to bed. See you guys in the morning and I'm going to give you guys a brief review as to how my hair feels. So it's morning now and I spent the entire night with my back on. So I'm just going to take it out and then show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so my back is still on and it feels, anyway, let me take it out. Yo. <laughs> Can see the moisture is still in. I feel like see my hair is so moisturized. My ends are happy as you all can see. So if you're going to try this bagging method of moisturizing your ends then please let me know how it worked for you down in the comment section. That being said, we've come to the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and of course, leave a comment down in the comment section. And if there's some other method you usually use to keep your ends moisturized in between wash days, let me know as well down in the comment section. See you guys in my next video.